So coming into your easy sitting pose. All right, find your yoga strap. These are fun. I haven't done these for a while. I was playing with these the other day. I was like, ooh, I can't wait to share these with you guys. So I'm doubling my strap. Uh, I'm just folding it in half. Uh, so it's less material to worry about for right now. And then we're gonna hold it um, about shoulders width apart. So I want you to pay attention to your shoulder range of motion. I don't want you to push through any strain or any pain to get further into the movement. So what we're gonna do is lift the arms up. We're gently pulling that strap apart. And the moment that you hit a sticky spot, I want you to go a little slower through it and you might even do a little micro movement up and down, right? So we're sort of hydrating the shoulders here. And you can just continue going however high is comfortable for you. It might be a little bit, it might be a lot of it. Okay, and again, if you find that tight spot, you might just do a little micro movement forward and back. Just a couple inches up and down there and then maybe continue. Right. And however high you're coming with the arms, think about lengthening through your torso from your high, waist, high waisted britches down through your hips and back up through your heart. And then slowly lower the arms back down. Ah. Okay, so we're just going to go up and down a few times, taking those micro movements anytime along the way that you need to. Thinking of this as our movement oil can for tight shoulders. Maybe we inhale on the way up. And exhale on the way back down. And I'm just, I'm choosing to bring my hands out a little bit wider. That, that more narrow stance felt a little bit crankier in my shoulders. So feel free to go a little bit wider if you wish. And notice too, um, let me see if I can, if, if you have one shoulder that's stronger than the other and it's sort of helping the other one out, just notice that and that's fine. That can be a really fun way to play actually. But if it is, can you ask the other one to kind of level out and pull its own weight there? Maybe. If that creates any discomfort, don't do it, but just a thought. All right, then we're gonna come down, release your strap and just kind of have a little wiggle there. Notice how everything's feeling. Hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna take this into a rowing motion. So let me go a little sideways so you can see it better. So same hold on your strap that you just had. And we're gonna do this two ways. So first variation, it's like you're in a rowboat. Your torso is gonna stay steady as the arms reach forward. Scoop down towards your legs and into your belly. So it's like you're on a little mini rowboat, All right? Just kind of scooping through the arms. And you can take it up on a little higher angle or a little lower angle or just play with those dynamics, okay? So think fluid, smooth. Let's do one more this way. And then we're just gonna reverse it. So we scoop down across the legs, out and up. So a little scooping into yourself. And I'm letting my elbows um, bend out to the sides with that. And kind of freeze up the shoulders a bit more. All right, opening up through the chest a bit more. And now we're gonna do our second variation, which is like maybe more like you're on a rowing machine. So as we scoop up and forward, we're gonna let the torso reach forward with us. So there's a little bit more core work involved and then scooping back, maybe lean back just a hair, right? So rocking forward, scooping in, rocking forward, scooping in. Let's reverse it, scoop it down and out, bring it in. So you're on a bigger rowboat, scoop it out, bring it in. Just do one more there. Ah, bring it in, let go of that strap, just kind of shake everything out. Rest your palms up on your legs for a moment. Let's just turn the head a little side to side in case 
that was getting grippy in your neck at all. Take a breath. Okay. And then we've got two more to do here. So feel free to stretch your legs out, change, change that leg position if you need to. We did all that beautiful work to open up the lower body. Let's keep it happy. Okay. So now we're gonna take the length of our strap and just wanna find middle. So you've got equal dangle <laughs> on each side there. So I've got a little bit wider stance now. We're gonna come back up overhead again. Okay, so again, just kind of extending out through the elbows as best you can, or if that makes it really grippy in your neck, if you soften the elbows, that should free the neck up a bit more. Okay, now we're gonna go side to side. So I want you to think about that, right? This head roll, kind of upper body roll that we just did. So we're kind of opening up through the ribs a bit more. So we're not gonna roll yet, just side to side for now. So I'm, I'm pulling that strap taut and I'm thinking about moving from my thoracic spine. So this is coming down <clears throat> to the middle and upper back, moving through the side ribs, opening up through the intercostal muscles, which are in between the ribs. Yeah. Taking a little break anytime you need to, if your shoulders or arms are getting tired, just come down, take a break, come back up. This is nice for a little arm strengthening too. And it doesn't matter how far over you go, just play, let yourself get curious. And then let's all come back up and rest for a second. Easy breath. Ooh, notice how that feels, gosh. I'm getting, I'm getting some good feels in my body today, ladies. I hope you are too. <sighs> All right, our final exploration here is that movement that we just did here and thinking about it really, even though we're gonna have the strap in our hands, let it come from your rib cage. So we're opening up all of these muscles down through the, the thoracic spine, which is really front sides and back here. Okay, so let's just play, let's just try it out. Coming back up, you wanna keep a little bit of tension in that strap. And the reason for that, without getting grippy in the shoulders, so remember you can have that soft bend in the elbows, is keeping a little tension here is gonna direct the movement more down into our ribs. Okay, so here we go, let's side bend right. We're gonna scoop it forward to the left. Just watch out for your straps that they don't hit you. And then back up. So, ah, opening through the side ribs, opening up across the back, upper back, middle back. Oh, that feels so delicious to the other side. And then the little heart lift up. Let's try one more that way. And again, you can really make this your own. So think of these are just ideas. Let's go the other way. Freeing up the stuck places. And you might hear some popping and cracking along the way. That's, that's normal stuff releasing. Oh, good. Yeah, let's do one more. All right, back to center as you get there and just lower, release. Have a little movement, little wiggle there. Notice how everything is feeling. To me, it just feels like I could just almost float, just float right up off of my hips here, like all of a sudden, the flower has bloomed. 
All right, pause for a moment. Just be here. Let everything sink and settle.